What's up? How are you guys this week? You hear that rain coming down? It's really pouring outside. Most of you probably saw that video Saturday with the freezer nightmare. We're still sorting things out. Thankfully, you know, the, the freezer hasn't gone completely AWOL and spoiled the meat. So we're still, we're still good, we're still good. I'm out a lot of money, but, but we're okay for the time being. And I was like, not the best time to be filming a vlog. Are we gonna do one this week? But as usual, new products, new stuff to show you guys, and a few things I wanted to add. So if you can help us out, place a meat order. We wanna get as much out of the freezer as possible so that we can spray foam it and fix everything. You know, that, that requires us powering down the freezer, getting it to room temperature to spray foam it and fix all the equipment in there. So in order to do that, we gotta put the meat in reefers, trailer, trucks, and I'm a lot more comfortable doing that if there's less meat to do it with. So uh, that's how you can help us out. Also, order some eggs. That's very easy for us to ship. The eggs are very easy for us to ship. So if you need eggs, please order them. Order eggs for your friends, whatever. And also organ supplements. If you guys place a supplement order, just so I can have a, a little more cash on hand to, to deal with this problem. You know, we're spending uh, at least 150 down on the reefer, probably 100 in gas leaking out of that thing. I am, I am bleeding money to say the least, and I haven't even uh, spent it on the stuff I need to do to fix this freezer. So we're in a tight spot, but it, it looks like we're gonna be just fine. So no, uh, no GoFundMe's asking for 300 grand because the State Department of Agriculture took my uh, $50 donkey horseshoe. Is that, what the, uh, is that what the other companies are doing? I don't know, I gotta have some integrity, right? So let me bring up my, oh, some of you guys are, like a few people email me complaining about a small order ice fee. I really don't want to raise the order minimum again, but unfortunately, like if someone orders five pounds of pastrami, like I I, it's going to go bad if I send it with a regular amount of ice. So guys, if you can, please try to order at least 10 pounds of frozen meat to avoid the small order ice fee. Uh, mo I would say about 20 to 30% of the orders are too small right now. Uh, particularly some California orders. So guys, just keep in mind, uh, 10 pounds of frozen meat will allow it to stay cold in transit, especially in the heat. But let me bring up my, uh, my list of stuff to talk about today. Oh, 4th of July, order this week. Because 4th of July is next Thursday. So if you order next week and we ship on Monday, you might not get your meat for 4th of July on Thursday. Keep that in mind. So if you want meat, hot dog, we have the highest quality hot dogs available online. Crazy culinary recipe. No one's going to go to the extent that I do to put collagen broth and organic fresh onions and all this quality. Best hot dogs, best sausages, a lot of really high quality, unique stuff that you can't get anywhere else. If you want to have it at your 4th of July barbecue, order today. Order it this week so we can get it to you uh, in time for the 4th of July. We had the freezer emergency. As I hear that reefer running, I'm thinking of dollars falling out of my pocket. <laughs> uh, oh, what's really big, the potato chips are finally back. We'll talk more about the potato chips. Uh, pastrami is back in stock. That's pretty big too. We have pastrami back. Uh, we'll talk about that when we look at it. Fresh ribeye and fresh local ground beef. So we brought the fresh local ground beef back, $8.50 a pound fresh never frozen meat guys if you put a 15% discount on it how is this guy still in business I'm losing my mind doing this stuff for you guys but we have fresh meat options available which is kind of a bad idea considering we need to empty out the freezer <laughs> selling fresh meat when we need to sell frozen but okay and we have lemon sorbet made with glass bottled mineral water so normally sor you know sorbet is is frozen fruit treat but the water they use is bad so we finally made so i'll show you guys that too uh but uh, we're not we're not going to focus on the uh on the freezer stuff today because that was in the vlog but i might show you a clip of uh, me climbing up there and uh and what i was doing to to fix it so over here in the front we got the jarred honey crisp apples jarred potatoes if you guys want to support the the local Amish farms. They might have left the potato chips in the warehouse and the light is off. Yeah, we got the potato, we got the potato chips. Oh, it's not, it's kind of dark in here. You guys probably can't see, but we got all the potato chips in. So we are the only place 
selling, and I mean only, only person selling organic potato chips, and that's because organic potatoes are very hard to find, not fried in a seed oil. So we have coconut oil and Wagyu beef tallow. Unfortunately, the price of potatoes went up. The potato chips are $7 a bag, up from $6.50, mainly because this Amish guy is overcharging me a little bit to make these. Hopefully we can make them ourselves soon, but right now, unfortunately, they're $7 a bag. If I charge less than seven, I'm breaking even, which is there's no point in me selling these. Plus, I found there's this company selling corn tortilla chips fried in beef tallow. So they haven't copied my potato chips yet, but someone else is selling like corn tortilla chips fried in beef tallow, $10 a bag. I think it was even 11. I was like appalled. I thought that me selling the highest quality potato chips, organic, organic, best for $7 to me, I, I'm still not, I don't like doing that. I want to provide affordable, healthy stuff for you guys. This other company is selling them for $10, $11 a bag and has all these influence promoting it. I was like, look, there's a difference between something being a little more expensive because of the higher quality or like a little too expensive because of the higher quality versus an, an unachievable and completely ridiculous business model of selling chips for $10 a bag. That is not sustainable. That is not acceptable. That should not be done. Okay. I, I don't know how they're able to do that and how they even have people buying those chips, but it's just... You could buy beef jerky at that price, you know? What am I doing here? Oh, we also got another new product. Finally did the clay shampoo for you guys. I gotta, I gotta label these tomorrow, but you know, this talking about this for a while and we should have some other new products on naturals within a few weeks. Yeah, hopefully before the summer's over, I can get you guys some sunscreen, but we finally found a company that can manufacture the products for me on a reasonable scale. So I'm looking forward to get, but that, that's a little ways away. What's closer is the probiotic should finally be coming this week. So keep an eye on organsupplements.com for the probiotic. I mean, I haven't tested it myself yet, and I'll talk briefly on it. There's only certain probiotic powders available for commercial use. So I took all the ones that are available, I formulated the best one. So hypothetically on paper, if a probiotic supplement would ever work in pill form, this one would work. We don't know yet. But hypothetically, on paper, I copied the microbiome profile percent by percent. No other company has ever done that. We'll talk more about it when we get it, but <laughs> if there was any possibility of it working, of making it work, I'm the guy that would have been able to do it. What else? Let's go in the fridge. Uh, before we hop in the fridge, speaking of bad timing, I bought this right before the freezer fiasco. And if any of you guys are familiar with Burkle slicers, you will know that these are top of the line, super expensive. I got this for a few thousand dollars. Should I tell you how much it is or should I make you Google it? These brand new are 14 to $16,000. And it's Italian made. I gotta find out where to grease this up because it is used, there's even like a, I don't know if I gotta grease this part specifically too, but it, it's not turning as well as it should. But this is like a manual, a manual slicer. And the purpose of this compared to like that one, electric one, is for prosciutto and iberico ham this is the only machine that can get it paper thin so as soon as we sell what's left in the freezer all of the new prosciutto and ham is going to be cut on this it's going to take a lot more time but since it's not electric the blade stays colder and it gets a lot thinner and it's going to be it's going to be good this is this i said all right look we're not selling as much prosciutto and ham as we should so if we got the highest quality product possible in this is this is the only way to do it this was the only way to do it. And at that price, I could not turn this down. To get this for a few thousand dollars was, was absolutely unbelievable compared to what you'd have. Because what? I'm not going to spend $15,000 to cut the prosciutto a little thinner. It'll never pay for itself. But in this case, hey, maybe it'll pay itself back after a year if we can sell the prosciutto and ham thinner. So as usual, guys, we got the fresh raw A2A2 A2 dairy in this week to ship out for you guys. We're able to stock up on a little more butter this time. Uh, although we didn't actually run out last week, we just made it. Uh, guys, please buy the water kefir before I throw it out and make a new batch. <laughs> I don't know, we might have to give up the water kefir game for a little while. I might have to throw all this out, just keep a small amount because uh, I guess with how the economy is now, people just making their own, which I don't mind, it's just, um, you know, we used to sell a lot more of this per week and the price that we're selling it at, it's already almost not worth it, but that's what you get for using high quality stuff. We got a marinade going with all the corn and soy free chicken that came in. 
It's an Italian and Greek style marinade with like super high quality organic coconut aminos, garlic, honey, lemon, uh, oregano, thyme. Really, really delicious, like Italian Greek style chicken marinade. So that should be available late this week or next week. So when you go to the chicken, you're gonna be able to select plain regular chicken or the Greek marinade. Like, like I know you guys saw last week, we have the buffalo chicken wings. It's gonna be like that for the other product. So for instance, now, like next week, like later this week when we have it, if you go on the chicken wings, it's gonna say chicken wings, buffalo chicken wings, Italian Greek marinated chicken wings. So you're gonna have options and like, we, and, and for the Italian, like for the buffalo sauce, we just did, um, we just, a lot of you guys are asking for an eye update. I have bad nerve pain here, if that answers your question, it's not going well. But, uh, for all of the different chicken cuts, if you want a whole roast chicken, Greek marinade, if you want breasts, if you want drumsticks, that, everything is gonna have the Greek Italian marinade option. Um, I don't know, I just, I've always wanted to do it. Not that, this is, Frank, this is, like, with all this fiasco going on, and I'm doing, like, all this crazy stuff, new stuff, like, oh yeah, my freezer almost failed and destroyed the whole meat inventory for my business, but I'm marinating Greek chicken. It, it, it goes to show you how, you know, you're, you're running a business, you're doing things every week, and then emergency happens, and those things are still there. They're not, they're not just, they don't just disappear. So we got a lot of fresh beef in for you guys. The, uh, the fresh local ground beef is packaged better. We got the vacuum machine all fixed up. Uh, so if you want the local ground beef, or if you want fresh ribeye steaks, we have both available for you guys. They're at the top of the page. Same price as frozen. I'm crazy, I know. I'm crazy selling fresh meat is the same price as the regular stuff. No one else is doing that. Uh, this is the beef bacon. We, we got beef bacon back and the pastrami. The pastrami is a big restock too. So if you guys want it, it's, it's more affordable now. We did eight ounce packages instead of uh, instead of one pound packages and we sliced the pastrami a little bit thinner so this is good this is going to be really good last time we did a little too thick but we have a ton of pastrami for you guys i think it might actually be the same price as the roast beef i'm just selling stuff way too cheap still a decent amount of pork bacon there uh, but that's it for the pork bacon we're going to run out soon we actually have the beef barley stew in here cooling off too i wasn't going to make it but I, I had to order ingredients for the chicken marinade, so I decided to order ingredients for the beef barley soup because we ran out. But it's like summertime, who's gonna buy beef barley soup? And then our Amish buddy unexpectedly sent me some beef broth, so I just used his beef broth to, uh, I used his beef broth to make the, uh, the beef barley soup. Yeah, so thankfully, we're okay here in the freezer. Uh, we're actually down to four degrees right now. Four degrees, very cold. We got up, we got up to 20 degrees in here at some points, which I was very nervous about. I've been climbing up there on that ladder, cleaning up the ice off every day. I'll show you the clip that I recorded yesterday right now. So we're up at the top of the freezer on this platform to show you guys what happened with these evaporators. So the ice is blocking airflow right now. So we need to melt all this ice. I was using a torch yesterday, but we ran out of gas. So I brought up, uh, we're gonna try some really hot water with some de-icer and see if that works in this pump spray or if not, we'll, uh, we'll get some more gas and finish the job off next week. I de-iced all of this one yesterday. Oh no. No, this one on the right I de-iced, which isn't good because now the ice is back. That's not good but at least it's been running. So we're gonna try to get the rest of the ice off again, get all the ice off of that one, and hopefully it's okay. But the only thing I have in here to show you, cause I don't know where everything is, cause we put everything on pallets to be ready to get it out of here onto a reefer. Like I, I literally have no clue where anything is. My guys do, because my guys are the ones that organize this stuff. We have all the collagen bone broth available, 30 hour, $10 a jar, very affordable price. That's the lemon sorbet. That's the lemon sorbet. Um, new container, really, really happy. This is how all the ice cream is gonna be from now on. 
Uh, we're switching to these paper containers instead of those. And if you guys want to help me out more, buy the ice cream because the ice cream is riskier to transport than the meat. So if you do want to buy ice cream, buy it now. I was going to give some of it away, but I'm already going broke, guys. And then we just, uh, I think it's just Wagyu skirt steak is restocked in here uh, for now. Yeah, I was only in there for like a minute and it's already fogging up like crazy. Lesson learned, use the phone. Uh, so I'm a little worried because that, that ghetto unit that we're using just to kind of save the freezer, one of the two evaporator fans stopped blowing, which just happened now. So I'm, I'm guessing maybe a, a breaker blew or something on the, on the electric. So I might go on the roof and look at the electric panel and see if the breaker's blown, but I, I, this is way above my pay grade. I don't know how to fix any of this shit. So yeah, after I film this vlog, I'm gonna just go on the roof and see if anything's off up there. That's like painfully obvious that even I would be able to figure out. Uh, we also should be getting in the, the new collagen powder, collagen peptide powder this week. So we'll have the collagen powder for sale on Oregon Supplements and we're gonna do our collagen bars. That's that's the, I mean, there's a lot of things I'm, that we're doing that I'm looking forward to, but that might be the biggest one. Dude, this is fogging up so much. That's insane. It was barely in there. Before I read some reviews, let me give you guys a little taste of what I'm dealing with. And I don't normally name companies or stuff, but, because I don't care enough, but this, this HVAC service, K&D factory, this guy comes, doesn't want to diagnose the broken unit, and the unit that just went down that I needed to get up to save the meat, he said, oh, it overheated, I'll just clean off the coils and that's it. Didn't diagnose that either. So they basically charged me $708 for cleaning the coils. It took the guy maybe uh, an hour of his time. And he did not look or think to check that there was half a foot of ice on the evaporators blocking the airflow. So this is getting, I put it on my credit card for a reason, is getting charged back 100%. I told him on the phone last week, look, I'll give you 150 bucks. I think that's reasonable, but your guy came, he refused to diagnose one unit, he misdiagnosed the other unit, and he just sprayed some water on the coils. So if they, I'll give him 150, 200 bucks, even that I think is unreasonable. But 700, 700, I should drive over there and steal some fence posts or some grass or something from their fucking property. Holy shit, dude. This is what I'm dealing with. I'm You got to be It's hard to be smart with this. It's hard. We don't know how to do You got to know apparently how to do everything yourself. Not get screwed. I was look, if that was 700 and he fixed it, if it was 2000 and he fixed it and it's working, I don't have to worry about it. No, I had another guy over 3 hours after he came. Unbelievable. And I have I have a lot of reviews to read, but like do you got do you, any of you guys actually watch me sit here and read reviews for 10 minutes straight? I find that kind of hard to believe. So let, let me know in the comments if you guys actually want me to like to read these reviews for 10 or 15 minutes or if you want me to like just pick a few good ones just for a minute or two and do that. Yeah, so we, we covered pretty much everything. I'm excited about the new products we got. The potato chips back, lemon sorbet, pastrami's back. So always excited and stuff for you guys. But I guess we'll read the reviews. Five star review for the pasteurized duck. Super flavorful, leaner than grocery store duck. <laughs> Do they even sell duck in grocery stores? But still has enough fat for a good duck recipe. One reviewer complained about feathers. We roasted it as is and couldn't taste or feel any feather material in the meat. A tougher meat than is used for poultry, but that makes it so fun to eat. The flavor and texture makes this a great experience. Any other company online, duck, three times the price. I'm not joking, three times the price. It's very special that we have that, very special. Five star view for the A2A2 A2 raw ice cream. Love the chocolate. Got some chocolate and maple pecan A2 ice cream. The chocolate was delicious. The maple pecan had very little flavor. I added maple syrup to make it much better. Both a little pricey for the small. I mean, that that to me, that, I mean, that's the cheapest ice cream online for that quality. And and of all the things to complain about the price, ten dollars for sixteen ounces of ice cream is not. I'm, I bet you we could go to Whole Foods right now. You know what? Let me check. How much ice cream is at Whole Foods? Yeah, I mean, you could go buy Ben and Jerry's for uh, half the price, right? Not even half the price. Ben and Jerry's is eight bucks. What? I, I mean, guys, ice cream isn't cheap in general. You're paying a few dollars. You're paying a few dollars more 
for for the highest quality ice cream there is. Like to me, I don't even know why I'm entertaining that review. That's a little unreasonable. You want me to sell it for the same price as Ben and Jerry's? <laughs> like, I probably could if I had my own dairy farm. Five star review for the grass fed hanger steak. Full mouth watering steak. My three favorite cuts hanger skirt ribeye, grilled, locks in the juices, season or marinate overnight for a mouth watering experience of grass fed beef. Stockyard beef is bland in comparison. Five star review for the grass fed wagyu ribeye steak. Real organic meat, good taste and fresh. Five star review for the pasteurized Iberico pork bacon. Iberico bacon. This bacon is amazing. We love it. Would highly recommend. This this person's last name is is the same as it's it's the name of the company that makes compressors, which is giving me freezer flashbacks. <laughs> Excellent quality eggs. Thank you to Frankie's hard workers to give us access to these wonderful eggs. The yolks are like silk. Best way to describe them. The yolk does not stick to the fork plate and makes it difficult to clean. Make a repeat order now. I don't know what that means, but how do you like the eggs? Five star beef for the grass would be pet food. Another dozen five stars. Just got another dozen pet food and they were just as good, if not better than the last. My dog is eating good. Thanks, Frank. Five star beef for the grass would beef tallow. Two pounder. Been using this stuff for a year now and so glad you have the two pound jars. Thank you, Frankie. The two pound jar is so high quality too, easy to open and close, not messy and wide lid. You rock, Frank. Five star view for the collagen bone broth beef stock demi glass. Grow, grow, grow. This is some real deal collagen. Makes everything grow 10 times. Also, the bone broth is to die for. Thanks, Frankie. Five star view for the Iberico pork bacon. Another one. Real bacon. Can't say I've ever had real bacon before this. Total new taste and delicious. Uh, then we got a five star view for the organic jarred russet potatoes. These are on the foods website. If you guys go to frank you'll see all the different businesses. Convenient, perfectly prepared. Really enjoy these. Ordered again. Thanks, Frank. Yeah, I've, I've been going through like a jar of those potatoes every day because, like, I'm going to go home right now. It's six o'clock. I haven't eaten all day. And I just put that jar of potatoes in the pan, warm them up, and then it's ready to eat. No, no other prep. Well, actually, we just cooked the beef barley soup today. And we didn't put in the jars yet, so I, I can actually just take some soup home for lunch. That's a good idea. Save me. Yeah, no. I'll take some beef barley soup home so I can eat right when I get home instead of cooking something. Five star view for the water kefir. Fixed me up. Tried some and damn it really fixed me up better than milk based kefirs. We'll have to order more. Yeah, I've, I've been drinking water kefir with every meal these past few weeks. Uh, five star view for the best burger blend ground beef. Best hamburger meat ever. Five-star view for Frankie's liquid gold steak sauce. Best sauce ever. Absolutely delicious. Hopefully this doesn't ever get discontinued as I will keep buying this sauce forever and ever and ever. I'm glad you guys like it. I can put it on everything too. Uh, so someone sent an email. I wanted to give you some good news that I just received my order here in Maine. We're having a three-day stretch of 95 degree weather. I was pretty worried about my order, but it just arrived and it's frozen solid. Great job on the packaging and shipping. 100 degrees out. Still good. Five star view for the pasture raised ground turkey. The best ground turkey meat anywhere. Wow, I just received my order of 10 pounds of ground turkey meat, and it's the most fresh, pink, and flavorful ground turkey I've ever tasted. We have already blown through eight of the 10 pounds, huh? Yeah, I mean, this turkey, guys, has been a wash for me. I've lost money. Because we ordered twice as much turkey as we thought we needed for Thanksgiving. So basically had to sell the rest of it at a break-even price. But it's whatever. Five-star view for the beef butter beef tallow moisturizing cream. Best tallow ever. After reading Frankie's Instagram, I found you can use this for a lot more than you thought. What are you guys leaving some funky comments? This stuff is truly amazing. On to my fourth or fifth jar now. Best tallow ever, and I have bought a lot of tallow. This one is different. Got a five star. I mean, they're all five star reviews, guys. You guys are no variants, but remineralizing tooth powder with vitamin K2. Never had an alternative toothpaste that actually made my teeth feel clean and whitens my teeth. I don't know how Frank does it, but he should be putting big toothpaste out of business any day now. Don't hesitate. This stuff rocks. So, the reason I started my businesses is because of my knowledge of health and nutrition, which I applied to my products. So anyone else that owns these other companies, 
does not have that knowledge. And therefore, when they formulate and create their products, they're not doing special things. Like, and I'll say, and it's really crazy to me, especially if you look at like organ supplements, the formulas on those products and the ingredients are things that I had to convince these manufacturers to do for me and pay extra for because no one else did that. Because my understanding of ingredients and nutrition allowed me to dictate what goes into it and what the dosage should be. So when you're buying like that stuff from organ supplements or my like tooth powder from Frankie's Naturals, there's no other tooth powder on the market that has those ingredients and like minerals and that high of an amount and those vitamin powders because no one else is doing that. A cosmetic manufacturer is not going to have the understanding of how much vitamin D to put in a toothpaste. They, they're not, it's not going to happen. Five star view for the lip balm. Stuff really works and really does last almost two months for the little tube. Don't hesitate with this one, another banger Frank. Uh, this is for the aluminum free deodorant. It really works. Frank did it again. I don't know how he does it. This stuff works. Time to throw out all the native attitude and anything else that's not Frank's deodorant yet. It's good stuff. Uh, what's next? Natural floss. Well, I don't make this, but we got the best brand I liked. A great floss does not get stuck if you have small teeth and really works. About 10 more reviews to go. Grass-fed whey protein. My husband and I are very much into a healthy lifestyle and we're always looking for the healthiest products. This protein is definitely the best. It doesn't give any aftertaste. I use it for protein shakes and for the protein pancakes and other healthy desserts. We'll have collagen protein soon. We have a very long review about the zinc complex and he, he basically talked about uh, how it has high quality ingredients, there's nothing bad in it, no fillers, and that it's a safe dosage. So if you guys want to read the reviews about the long reviews about the supplements, you can go on the site and do that. Magnesium complex. Simply the best folks, the best one I've ever tried, great supplement. Multi-mineral, great minerals. Accidentally ordered this instead of my multivitamin and I'm impressed. Didn't know I was low on mineral, but I can feel this one. Really great product as always, Frank. Never feel anything but better taking your vitamins. Vitamin D3. Top quality. Been trying to find some quality vitamin D that didn't include ox bile. And Frank comes through again. Thanks, Frank. Only vitamin D that doesn't make me sick. Another one for the magnesium complex. Take it daily. This is great. I take it daily in the summer and it really makes me feel great. Top quality. Crazy I can make take these vitamins and work out with no ill effects. Natural collagen. May not be the best tasting, but it works. A lot of collagen brands work for a few weeks and stop. After a few months, Frank's collagen has not let up. Everything is growing 10 times in skin like butter. Yeah, we'll have the, the better tasting collagen in this week, hopefully. Zinc complex. Best zinc you can buy. Honestly, this is some of the best zinc you could buy. I've been taking zinc for a few months now, and Frank's just set a new bar for me. Haven't ordered anything but this zinc for a few months now and couldn't be more impressed. Contains all the good zincs too in a normal dosage. Uh, macronutrient enzymes. I don't know what Frank is cooking up over there, but this pill fixed me up after just a few tries. Was trying to fix my gut with a better diet, but still had some issues. Got this a few months ago, and it took a total of three times. No ill effects. My food just totally digested, and now my stomach rocks. It can digest anything, and it's like I'm back to normal. I don't know if I ever felt this good eating all kinds of foods. Wow, Frank, thank you. I've tried over a dozen of these alleged enzymes that haven't done anything. This one literally took a few times, and it fixed me. And said, yeah, these are... Um, I don't know how they make those powders, probably like extracted from like pork stomach or beef stomach or something, but it's the actual enzymes that occur in the human stomach. So when you take the pill, it gives you like bio identical components that your body can then use to digest the food. Um, so the way that macro, I mean, we're actually almost out of that. We only have a few left and I didn't want to restock it because it doesn't sell that fast. And if I if I have to spend like ten thousand dollars or maybe not that much, but it's a lot of money for me to restock that supplement. And I don't really have the capital right now to 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 wait you know a few months to get my money back. So we only have a few of those left. Last review: chicken eggs from Pennsylvania to L.A. I've been receiving both duck and chicken eggs from Frankie for some time now. What is great is the new packing of individual eggs slotted into a styrofoam pack that has mostly eliminated breakage. The eggs are very fresh and haven't been washed and stay fresh for weeks in the fridge. And finally, Frankie's price for shipping 144 eggs 12 dozen to the West Coast cannot be beat.
you know, I might be losing money on shipping eggs to the West Coast, to be honest with you guys. But I think that's uh, I think that's it for this week. As usual, we have you know a lot going on, and hopefully this uh, this freezer fiasco it doesn't seem like it's gonna gonna set us back too much, or uh, we're gonna have any major issues moving forward. It's just as usual, Frankie loses a bunch of money and is stuck uh, is stuck scraping by, losing my mind. But yeah, hopefully a few more weeks. This whole uh, this whole freezer nightmare is a thing of the past, and we're in a, we're in a we should, we're, I'm gonna make sure to put. Uh, put myself in a comfortable situation where, uh, regardless of what happens moving forward, um, we'll, we'll never be in this situation again. And look, I, I knew one freezer unit was bad and it needed to be replaced, and I, and I was ready to do the work to replace it. But the second unit failed too, and and it's basically like all hell broke loose. But you know, it, the. The HVAC stuff always goes wrong when it's hot out, and I mean, yeah, if I knew this, I guess I guess it wouldn't have been. I mean, well, what really happened was, I I spent like fifteen thousand dollars of my own money trying to fix this thing, and it got to the point where I have to open up an insurance claim because I can't afford to fix this anymore, and then um, basically, right when I opened the insurance claim is when the other unit failed, and uh, and then shit really started going wrong, um, so. We'll see how it works out. Um, I've been paying insurance for three years and have never filed one claim. So, uh, it's about as honest as it gets. Well, I mean, yeah, I'd, I'd be worried if, like, it, like, if something catastrophic, like, it, I mean, I guess insurance companies have something where, like, they have insurance to pay out on big things, but the real, the real catastrophic stuff, like, I can't imagine, like, your whole building burns down, millions of dollars, like, I wouldn't trust an insurance company with that. You might be really fucking screwed, but no, I don't think anything like that's going to happen. Anyway, thank you guys for joining frank .com. I said it in, I think I've said it in the past few videos and shorts. If there was one week for you guys to help me out, it's this week. Go on Oregon Supplements, buy some Kratom, get fried, and feel happy. Uh, yeah. In, in order of priority about how you guys can help me out, um, the, the eggs are very easy to ship. Oregon Supplements is, is just, the Oregon Supplements is, is like a good margin and it's separate. I can do that myself. Um, and then just help me get some meat out of the freezer. But we're, get, we're getting a ton of orders in. This might be the busiest week we've had because of this. Um, so if we can get as much meat out of that freezer as possible, and then as soon as we get this new unit installed and running, which might take two weeks or so, um, hopefully, because my age fat guy is going on vacation 4th of July, but it, it might be very difficult to get a new unit in. Um, so I, the, that, the problem with that is then I'm stuck paying for this reefer rental for a few weeks, which is 150 bucks a day. And I don't know if the insurance is going to cover that. So, 150 bucks a day, 14 days, it's like two grand. It's not the end of the world, but uh, if it gets to the point where it's three or four weeks, and I've been paying this reefer rental for three or four weeks, it's tight. It's tight. I might, I might just buy, I might just buy some used reefer trailers, which are around ten thousand dollars, right now instead, and just get them. But the only, the problem with that is I would need a forklift. I need to buy a gas forklift too to put them on there. But that that's probably a good investment because then that then if the power ever goes out, that's our backup. So th there there's a few things in the works that I'm trying to do to to situate myself so this can never happen again. But right now we're still kind of in the middle of it. <laughs> that fan just went out that I got to go look at. So I'll see you guys. Hopefully I can do some videos this week. It's been very stressful. I'd like to do a day of eating. I'd like to just do some more content and stuff, but hopefully uh, we can get back on track soon.